These days, it's not uncommon for homeowners to pay off their mortgages over a period of decades. But one young Toronto man did it in just three years. Sean Cooper marked his recent accomplishment by burning his mortgage and celebrating with friends. He's just 30 years old and bought his home in suburban Toronto at the age of 27. Cooper worked at least 80 hours a week at multiple jobs to finance his dream of home ownership. He also lived in the basement of his house, renting out the upstairs for extra income. Cooper's house cost $425,000. He made a down payment of $170,000. That left a $255,000 mortgage. Cooper took out a five-year fixed-rate loan from a secondary lender. Sean Cooper is a personal finance writer, and he joins us now. So, Sean, congratulations. Well, thank you, Diane. It's that's, a pleasure to be here. That's fantastic. But now, a $170,000 down payment, and you were only 27? Where did all that money come from? Yes, well, I started saving my down payment while I was still in university. A lot of students, I guess, graduate with university debt, but um, I worked during the summer, so I was able to save that money and use it towards paying off the tuition. And then I also worked three jobs during when I was going to school, so I saved that money towards my down payment. So I worked at a supermarket. I also did freelance writing, as well as I worked at the MBA office at my uh, university. Wow. And do you have now a really high-paying job that's allowed you to keep up these big payments? Yes. I mean, I um, work uh, as a senior pension analyst, and I also do freelance writing. Um, I'm a personal fin finance writer, so basically I was earning the income of two people and that's basically how I was able to pay down my mortgage so quickly. It sounds as if you have had just one goal from when you started out of I'm going to own a house and I'm not going to be in debt. Is that a fair description? Yes, I mean, home ownership was, of course, the first goal. Um, since I was younger and my parents owned a house, I've always aspired to own a house. And um, I guess with how expensive uh, houses are these days, I didn't want six figures of debt hanging over my head. I mean, my mortgage is over a quarter of, of a million dollars. That's a lot for one person to handle. So my goal was, to, from a risk management perspective, to get rid of the debt as soon as possible because um, you can't really depend on having a job for life um, with the way the economy is. So I didn't want to have to worry about if um, you know I lost my job, what I was going to do with my mortgage. So I want to pay it down as soon as possible and uh, get rid of that stress. But have you been able to have any fun <laughs> these last three years, Sean? I mean, it just sounds like you've done nothing except work. Well, I do make um, time for fun because I definitely think it's important to have a work-life balance. Um, but I mean, of course, I haven't had as much fun as a lot of people my age, but I was just so determined with this goal that, um, you know, I set my priority of getting my mortgage paid down and I still made time to hang out with friends and, uh, you know, a couple evenings a week um, because, you know, it wouldn't be healthy to, you know, work all the time and not have any fun. Yes, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, yes. my mother used to often say. But now, I don't know whether you're aware of this, but your story was posted on cbc.ca, our, our website, and it has been one of the most viewed and most shared stories. People just seem to be fascinated with this. I guess partly because you're so young and that you've been able to have this accomplishment. 14,000 shares on social wow. media. But the comments are really split between people who are praising you and thinking you're just amazing and people sort of criticizing you. What uh, Have you looked at some of the comments yourself? Yes, I have. I find my stories very polarizing. Either people think, you know, wow, it's amazing that he did this or, you know, I would never do anything like this. But I think it speaks to the broader issue of a lack of affordable housing in, in Canada's main cities like Toronto and Vancouver. The average price of a detached house is over a million dollars. So, you know, for one person to afford a house like that, it's uh, pretty crazy. I mean, they recommend that you spend 35 percent of your income on housing uh, housing costs and uh, I just don't think that's realistic so you know if you want to have your mortgage pay off at, at a decent amount of time uh, uh, you have to go to you know these extreme measures like working crazy hours I mean it would be nice the government seems to you know want to make uh, 
more ways for Canadians to borrow money. Like during the election, they were talking about increasing the home buyers plan uh, to thirty-five thousand dollars, or making it like the Liberals were talking about making it easy to borrow uh, money. But that doesn't really address the issue of housing affordability. It's just getting Canadians more in debt. So I'd like to see something related to you know helping millennials and first-time home buyers afford homes because it's just getting out of reach in uh, Canada's biggest cities. Now, are you still living in the basement and renting upstairs? Yes, I mean, um, I guess a big mistake that some people make is that they buy houses that are too expensive, buy too much house. So um, for me, um, I'm happy with my situation and until it makes sense to move upstairs, I'm perfectly consent content with staying in the basement. I mean, it's a three bedroom house upstairs and I'm only one person, so I wouldn't know what to do with all those uh, bedrooms rather than just, you know, fill them with stuff. I'm perfectly happy with living in the basement and, uh, you know, putting the money towards savings. What's your next goal? Um, I definitely like to, you know, travel more and have more of a work-life balance, uh, concentrate on my social life and, you know, maybe uh, get married one day, but, you know, that's uh, out of my hands. It happens when it happens. You, you, I would say you're going to be quite a catch, although your wife might want to have a little bit more fun along with you. Definitely. <laughs> right. Great to meet you, Sean. Thanks okay. for coming in. Thank you, Diane.